Hello friends, in this video lecture, we are going to discuss the control area concept for load frequency control. So let us begin. So friends, till now we have discussed the load frequency control and to understand the load frequency control, we have considered a single alternator supplying to the isolated load. Now we have to explain the understanding for the power system. Okay, for the whole power system, we should know or how to control the load frequency. Okay, so for that we have to uh, have some strategy. Okay, so that strategy we can discuss under this topic called control area concept. Okay, let us try to understand what is control area concept. See here. The power system practically what we have is a very vast system okay so what we are going to do is in order to control the load frequency instead of trying to control the load frequency for that vast power system at a time so uh, we go with the we try to decompose that vast power system into a number of load frequency control areas of course, those areas will be tied together through some tie line. Okay, so that will be easy one. Instead of trying to control the whole thing, let us decompose uh, that vast system into a number of small control areas. And then let us try to control the load frequency in individual area. By that uh, strategy, we can control the System, uh, load frequency for the complete system for the complete power system we can control the load frequency with that now how to decompose the power system so we can decompose the power system suppose we have a national power system if we are talking about the india let's say the national grid we have national power system so what we can do is national power system we can decompose it as for the different electricity board we know that different states in india have different electricity board if we are in maharashtra we have a different electricity board gujarat they are having their uh, different electricity board so that national power system it can be decomposed into control area it can be decomposed into the control areas uh, with respect to electricity board okay the area which comes under a particular utility so we can divide uh, that much area okay and accordingly we can decide the control strategy for that area first okay see particularly we are talking about the national power system so control areas we are decomposing based on the electricity board so if i talk about uh, maharashtra or the neighboring states see if you are going with that see Maharashtra okay this may be we may have MH here then Maharashtra then we have in neighboring Gujarat okay then of course we have a neighbor on that side as Madhya Pradesh okay we do have neighboring with uh, Karnataka okay we have neighboring with Andhra Pradesh or Telangana okay so what we are going to do is national power system we have not divided uh, as per the electricity boards and each area we will now call it as a single area and that each state or the each uh, area which is coming under a separate utility we will call that as area to be a single control area of course uh, all these areas they are interconnected with each other with some tie line okay all these states they are interconnected with each other uh, they have the interconnection for some contract work okay uh, let's say for exchange of the power for uh, availing the some special services okay suppose uh, some uh, special provisions are there in gujarat state uh, um, electricity board if you the maharashtra electricity board wants to utilize that service then uh, these two uh, state boards they contract with each other and under with that contract they can exchange the power with each other or they can utilize the uh, services of each other 
okay so this is how they are connected to uh, through some tie line okay and now the aim is to control the load frequency for the complete power system so what first we are doing we have decomposed the national power system into a smaller areas and particularly the area under electricity uh, under each electricity board after that what we will do we will take a single area now okay we will take out a single area let's take an example of let us suppose we are now concerned with the maharashtra uh, area okay the uh, the area comes under maharashtra state electricity board of course the generators which are there in this uh, under this uh, electricity board they are connected with each other such that they forms a coherent group okay so i can say that generators over here forms they forms a coherent group coherent group means what number of generators they are connected so tightly with each other such that when there is a variation in the load the all the alternators or all the generators they behave uh, same or identical behavior can be seen for all the generators for the change in the load let's say if there is a increase in the load of course the speed of the generator should go down so you can experience that the speed of all the generators which are under maharashtra state electricity board their speed will go down if suppose speed of the generator one of the generator is going up because of the decrease in the load so all other generators will speed up at same time okay so coherent group means what generators speed up speed down generator will speed up and speed down at same time okay of course all the generators which are under this group so this group it is formed by the generators which comes under a single area okay so now what we we do already we have discussed that uh, from the core and group what we do we take up only one single alternator okay we take only consider only one alternator okay and try to understand the behavior of this alternator to the change in the load and accordingly decide the control strategy okay consider only one generator and for that single generator understand its behavior and decide what you have to decide you have to decide the control strategy control strategy for what to maintain the load frequency as constant okay once you get that control strategy for the single alternator we can apply the same strategy for all the alternators which are coming under a single area so this is called as control area concept okay so what we are doing we are controlling the load frequency for a particular area so once we get that understanding how to control the load frequency for one particular area then we can exchange the same thing we can exchange that same understanding for all other areas okay let's suppose that initially i was concerned with the controlling the load frequency of maharashtra only now if suppose there may be a possibility that then uh, where you have to control the frequency of more than two areas then of course it is possible to control the load frequency of more than two areas what you have to do is whatever understanding you get or whatever control strategy you have uh, got from the uh, one alternator from that single area the same understanding first you have to extend for that whole area then same understanding you have to apply for the another area okay if you are going for the two area then apply the same understanding for another area okay of course you have to monitor the uh, behavior of the tie line here okay how the power uh, is being flowing on that tie line that of course you have to monitor in that case okay so this is how we can control or this is what the control area concept is again here 
what we are doing is uh, we are talking about the maharashtra straight only so we have decided to control to control the because uh, the alternators which are there in maharashtra they have formed the core and group so instead of uh, deciding the control strategy directly for all the generators we can study the single generator and we can understand and we can decide it for complete area okay so this way we can control the load frequency for single generator and same understanding can extend for the single area and then that understanding we can extend it for a uh, whole uh, national grid okay again suppose here uh, what we can do when we are going with the uh, two area or multi area control then in that case suppose uh, let us take the same example what we have discussed just now suppose this is maharashtra this is gujarat uh, this is your uh, the way you are decomposing the national uh, power system okay uh, then of course you have that madhya pradesh here then we have that andhra pradesh and we have karnataka here okay this uh, this is how we have the different control areas now specifically now i am concerned with maharashtra only i'm concerned with only maharashtra i want to control the load frequency of maharashtra only then what happens as these control uh, these areas they are interconnected with each other of course they have interconnection with each other so what happens we do the interconnection because uh, it has different advantages let's say for the exchange of the power when there is a deficiency of generation in one state we can exchange the power from other states so that the continuity of the power can be maintained in that case you see here it becomes very difficult to uh, decide the control strategy in this case so what we do is here we up, we use the concept of equalization or equalizing concept we are using there what is this concept means equalization or equalizing concept means see of course this gujarat will have number of buses this madhya pradesh it will have number of buses andhra pradesh will have some number of buses karnataka will have some number of buses and maharashtra will have some number of buses so what we do uh, with this equalizing concept uh, we reduce the number of buses of the neighboring control areas okay suppose in total if, uh, for this gujarat madhya pradesh andhra pradesh and karnataka if suppose uh, we have 1 2 3 4 in total suppose if we have uh, let's say 100 buses we have okay so with this uh, with this equalizing concept we can reduce this uh, number of uh, 100 number of buses to uh, up to 20 buses okay for example i'm telling you okay if we could do that it will be very convenient uh, it will be make the uh, process very convenient okay because you see if you have to analyze for 100 buses it will be very difficult if you have to analyze for 20 buses it is very simple okay so what we do with this uh, concept see this concept is it is related to the control system engineering okay so what we do uh, we represent the effect of this buses uh, reduced buses at the boundaries of the maharashtra and then we decide the control strategy here see why it is necessary to do this as they are interconnected with each other suppose there is a, there is some drastic changes on one of the control area suppose on the gujarat we are facing some drastic issue we may have some natural conditions suppose there is a uh, flood condition as uh, as there in that uh, particular state okay so definitely the generation in that state may get affected or the load in that area may get affected very drastically so in that case if we don't include the uh, this effect so it becomes or whatever control strategy we get without considering that so it may not be useful in that in that uh, situation so that is why it is important to consider this uh, effect as well okay so while deciding the control strategy we have to con consider this as well so this is what the control area concept means thank you very much